Of all our senses, the most precious is our sight. Yet every year, thousands of Australians suffer eye injuries that impair their vision or deprive them of sight altogether. Our eyes are extremely complex and fragile organs, and yet many of the operations we carry out in our day-to-day -day lives jeopardise our sight. 90% of all eye injuries can be prevented by following established safety guidelines and ensuring that you wear the appropriate protective eyewear. Among the most common eye hazards are flying particles, a hazard typical of many machine operations such as grinding, sawing, etching and welding. Airborne particles like sparks and splinters created by these operations can cause severe and painful eye damage. In addition, the dusts created by these operations can irritate the eyes and lead to impaired vision over time. Destructive light rays, common in welding operations and work using acetylene equipment, can cause painful eye burns unless your eyes are adequately protected. Exposure to EM radiation, like that given off computer monitors and television sets, as well as general eye strain from reading in poorly lit environments should be avoided. The following guidelines for on-the-job eye safety can help you save your sight for life. Be aware of eye hazards present at your work site. The first step in avoiding danger is knowing it exists. Whatever the working environment, identifying potential hazards should be a priority. Because damage can occur from prolonged exposure, it's not always obvious that an operation or procedure can be potentially harmful. Wear the appropriate protective eyewear, glasses, goggles, hoods, face shields and welding helmets must be provided by your employer for the specific hazards you face. Also, make sure that protective shielding is installed to protect others from debris or emissions that your task may create. Always remember to wear protective eyewear over your corrective lenses. Check to see that your protective eyewear meets Australian national standards. Make sure that your protective eyewear fits properly, is clean and in good condition before each use and remember to replace faulty eyewear immediately. In the event of an emergency, each of the major types of eye damage needs to be treated differently. Of course, if an accident does occur, you should seek medical advice immediately. Make sure you know the location of your first aid and eye wash stations. For cuts or splinters in the eye, bandage the eye lightly. Do not attempt to remove the object in the eye or wash it out. You may be causing more damage. Be sure to use a damp eye patch and try to keep the person calm until a medical professional arrives. For chemical burns, tilt the person's head back and flush the eyes with water. Don't pour the water directly into the eyes, rather aim for the bridge of the nose. This should be done for at least 15 minutes or until professional medical assistance arrives. Damage from radiation occurs through prolonged exposure, so avoid exposure by wearing the appropriate eyewear and masks. Also, screen the area to protect others. In the office, avoid EM field exposure by using a radiation screen over your computer monitors. Avoid general eye strain by ensuring that your workplace is well lit. If you do find yourself straining to read, visit an optometrist for an eye exam. You may need glasses. It's a good idea to have your eyes tested at least every two years. Unsafe work practices cost industry and taxpayers millions every year, but more importantly, there's an unquantifiable human cost. Damage or loss of eyesight due to avoidable accidents affects the victims and their families indefinitely. And it's not just at work that we can endanger our sight. Many of the chores we perform at home can be potentially dangerous and lead to avoidable accidents. Before undertaking any potentially dangerous activity, always ask yourself, is it worth the risk? We take for granted how precious our eyesight really is. For example, imagine not being able to enjoy the simple pleasures of a family outing or watching your children grow. The next time you consider not protecting your eyes, ask yourself, is it worth the risk? In summary, be aware of the eye hazards present at your work site. Know where all eye wash stations and emergency equipment is located. Wear the appropriate protective eyewear and use protective screens where applicable. Check that your protective eyewear meets Australian national standards, fits and is in good condition before and after each use. Replace faulty eyewear immediately. Learn basic first aid and always seek immediate medical attention in the event of an accident. Your eyes are your window to the world. Stop for a moment and consider what life would be like without the use of your eyes. So take the time to ensure your workplace is safe and that you keep a keen eye 
for safety. Local leisure, take the time to ensure that you have an ear for safety.